Your ability to grow as a person and as a leader is strongly correlated with your willingness to feel a sense of cringe. It was very awkward and cringy. Let me explain. We only grow when we experience a sense of discomfort and awkwardness, and that usually comes with stepping outside of our comfort zone. But especially with certain social interactions that we're not used to, they can feel icky and gross, which creates a sense of cringe. In my 20s, I did an experiment called rejection therapy, where for 30 days I would go up to strangers and ask them for things with the goal of getting rejected. Oh my God, no. Yeah, it felt a little cringy when I did it, but it did also inoculate me against this idea that when someone rejects you, they're rejecting like your entire person because that's just not how it works. It turns out that people have like a million things going on in their lives and in their own mental worlds. So when they turn you down for something, it's like 70% about them and only 30% about you. Plus when you do this experiment, you realize that People will say yes to a lot more things than you expect. I got phone numbers from a cute girl on a train. I sat in some guy's fancy car. I even got someone to give me a bite of their croissant. Like I literally bit it out of their hand. Mom, cringe. And it was because of my willingness to experience this cringe that I was able to do this rejection therapy. And that gave me a lot of confidence later on in my life when I went and started a bunch of venture backed companies because I understood that pitching an investor wasn't a rejection of me if they turned me down. It was a rejection of my pitch, my offer. So I could tweak the offer and try again. Uh, so we now have a totally new offer. Look, I'm obviously not saying that everything that makes you feel cringe is also going to help you grow. And this video is definitely not an excuse to go and do something deliberately rude or hurtful. Think of it more as a reminder that feeling vulnerable, awkward, or even a little embarrassed is often necessary to level up. Public speaking, improv, giving constructive feedback, karaoke, putting out your art publicly in any form or fashion, cold DMs or emails, chatting at locals when you travel internationally. These are all experiences that may induce cringe, but also facilitate growth. And I find that often the thing that you see in others that you feel the most cringe about is something that you might want to investigate as potentially being a growth place for you. Think about that. This entire series, Push Up and Ponder, is an argument, is arguably a really cringe-inducing concept, but it's kind of fun and I think people get something out of it. So I'm gonna keep doing it. So in the end of the day, don't be afraid of cringe. It's not something to necessarily be avoided. Instead, see it as a tool to facilitate your growth as a person and as a leader. Until next time, take care of yourself, take care of others, and ship work that matters. Peace.